iPhone 17 Pro's leaked A19 Pro benchmarks reveal incredible performance. Here's the results so far the first seemingly real benchmark for the A19 Pro chip in the iPhone 17 Pro, Pro Max and iPhone Air have started to appear in the Geekbench 6 database. The scores are unconfirmed but the initial results reveal a very powerful CPU. The new A-series chip is more around 15% faster than last year's A18 Pro in the iPhone 16 Pro and on par with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset in the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Apple said in its press release that the A19 Pro delivers 40% improved, sustained, performance in comparison to the A18 Pro. When paired with the Apple-designed vapor chamber, A19 Pro enables iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max to deliver up to 40% better sustained performance than the previous generation, ideal for gaming, video editing, and running large local language models. The press release re-Apple has tended to best Samsung when it comes to single-core scores. The same appears true here with the iPhone 17 Pro hitting 3895 while the S25 Ultra comes in at 3031. The S25 Ultra slightly beats out the A19 Pro in multi-score at 9829 compared to 9746. But this is just one test. In our testing we'll make multiple runs and then find an average score we've even able to do an initial hands-on review of the iPhone 17 Pro and 17 Pro Max but we won't know how they will truly perform until we're able to put the phones through the paces in our testing lab. Interestingly, another leak, via Vadim Yuriev, revealed a Geekbench score for the phone's graphics performance and the A19 Pro is insane. This leaked benchmark gave the chip a metal score of 45,657. Metal is a fancy word for the way Apple describes its GPU. For our comparisons, the 45,657 score is on par with the M2 chip, which was available in the 6th generation iPad Pro and 2022 MacBook Air and MacBook Pi Phone 17 Pro Max release date, Price and features the iPhone 17 Pro Max and iPhone 17 Pro are the best that Apple has to offer in terms of a 2025 phone. The new Pro Duo was released alongside the vanilla model, the iPhone 17, but this year, a newcomer is welcome to the stage, the iPhone Air. This one replaces the Plus model. Back to the iPhone 17 Pro models. The larger of the two, the iPhone 17 Pro Max, and its smaller sibling, the iPhone 17 Pro boast expansive 6.9-inch and 6.3-inch Super Retina XDR displays, complete with ultra-thin Bees the handsets displays support a 120Hz promotion refresh rate and incorporate a new anti-reflective coating. Under the hood, the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max are powered by the Apple A19 Pro chip, paired with 12GB of RAM and multiple storage options starting at 256GB. The 17 Pro Max introduces a maxed-out 2TB option for the first time ever. Battery life should see a decent boost, with the iPhone 17 Pro expected to house a 4 252 mAh battery, while the Pro Max could pack a 5 0 mAh cell if eSIM-only variants are bought. The camera system is shaping up to be just as impressive, featuring a 48MP main sensor, a 48MP ultra-wide lens, a new 48MP telephoto lens with 4x, 8x optical zoom, and a selfie camera with cool tricks up its SLE the iPhone 17 Pro jumps a solid $100 to $1,099 from the previous $999, but the 17 Pro Max model keeps its price. Is that a small win? Probably, but only for those who are into larger phones. Apple. It's unlikely that Apple will abandon its iPhone upgrade program which allows users to get a new iPhone every 12 months by making 12 payments and trading in their current device. Verizon, if current trends hold, the iPhone 17 Pro might be offered with no upfront cost, while the iPhone 17 Pro Max could require only $200 upfront. Not bad, but do read the fine print multiple times before signing anything. T-Mobile, similarly, T-Mobile is expected to offer the iPhone 17 Pro probably for free, but with an eligible plan and qualifying trade-in. Customers may also receive discounts in the $600 to $700 off any iPhone 17 model when choosing the Magenta Max plan, if that's a thing in 2025. Additionally, given that the telco strategy doesn't change, a buy-one-get-one, BOGO, 
Deal could allow you to get up to $700 off a second iPhone 17 when adding a line to almost any T-Mobile plan. AT&T, AT&T is expected to roll out enticing deals for the iPhone 17 lineup. The iPhone 17 Pro might be offered for free with an eligible plan and the trade-in of a phone in any condidi this fun little feature aside. The iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max introduce what is Apple's probably most advanced camera systems to date. The triple 48 MP fusion cameras should deliver sharper, more detailed images, while the redesigned 48 MP telephoto camera features a next-generation tetraprism sensor that is 56% larger than its predecessor, enhancing clarity in bright light and capturing more detail in low-light conditions. The new 4X optical zoom at 100mm provides a classic portrait lens, and the 8X optical zoom, via sensor crop-in, at 200mm, the longest ever on an iPhone, offers extended reach for wildlife photographed updated photonic engine uses advanced machine learning to preserve natural detail, reduce noise, and improve color accuracy. While digital zoom reaches up to 40X, and new photographic styles including the bright style in iOS 26, allow users to enhance skin tones and add vibrancy. On the front, the iPhone 17 Pro models debut the center stage camera with Apple's first square sensor, delivering up to 18 MP for photos and a wider field of view. Both portrait and landscape shots can now be taken while holding the iPhone vertically. This sounds fun. The front camera also enables ultra-stabilized 4K HDR video. During video calls on FaceTime or other apps, center stage keeps users centered and steady in the frame, enhancing the overall communication expiry. The iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max offer a wide range of storage options, allowing users to choose the capacity that best fits their needs, from 256GB up to 1TB for the Pro and up to 2TB for the Pro Max. Higher storage options provide ample space for large photo and video libraries, apps, games, and AI-driven features without worrying about running out of room. The expanded capacity is especially advantageous for creators who record in 4K or 8K, store ProRes RAW files, or use multiple apps simultaneous of iPhone 17 Pro Duo launched without a titanium option, as Apple replaced the titanium frames with aluminum. Both phones features a brushed aluminum unibody made from lightweight aerospace grade 7000 series aluminum, Providing Apple's best thermal performance to date, the company claims. The raised plateau on the back, the new camera island, creates extra space for internal components, allowing for a larger battery. Antennas are built into the device's perimeter, delivering the most advanced and highest performing antenna system Apple has implemented in an iPhone the bigger 6.3-inch display of the 16 Pro and the 6.9-inch display of the iPhone 16 Pro Max are present on the 17 Pro and 17 Pro Max. This is a notable departure from the 6.1-inch display of the 15 Pro and the 6.7-inch display of the 15 Pro Max iPhone 17 Pro and 17 Pro Max get ultra-thin bezels. Like all Pro models since the iPhone 13, these displays support a smooth 120Hz promotion refresh rate, enhancing the scrolling experience. These panels offer higher peak brightness at 3000 nits. The iPhone 17 Pro features Ceramic Shield 2 on the front, providing three times better scratch resistance and reduced glare. For the first time, Ceramic Shield is also applied to the back, enhancing durability across the Devi C.Y.N.C.